Hello and welcome to Lifting Co's 2019 CCAs. Lester here from Cannabis Wiki inside the beautiful Fairmont Royal York Hotel in downtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada. That's right, everybody, we are in the six, home of the 2019 Toronto Raptors. That being said, today we are going to see trendsetters, innovators, influencers, believers, and dreamers walk this red carpet today. So why don't you guys come inside with me as we get into the Lift & Co. 2019 CCAs, Cannabis Wiki's Winners and Icons version. Come on. What's going on everybody? I am here with Sarah Hanlon, the host of Lift & Co's 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards. How are you? I'm so great. Thank you for coming. Oh, our pleasure, our pleasure. Been excited to stand here and meet you, find out how you're feeling about hosting. Oh, I'm feeling so excited. And normally I'm kind of a nervous person, but tonight I'm not even nervous because it's just good vibes, it's just celebration, um, it's just good people, and we're here at the Fairmont, so how could I not just like right? feel so lucky, right? you know? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. You must be excited. So who are you looking forward to handing an award to? Oh, well, I'm just honestly who, whoever wins. Like, I'm just so excited to show some love to every, like, and not just whoever wins. All the nominees, everyone who comes out tonight. I just think it's so special to, I know it sounds so cliche, like, to be nominated, but... I think this is like an industry event. So when your peers look at you and say like, hey, you're doing good, I think that's really special, you know? And so I'm just excited to see all that loving and, and be amongst all that loving and celebration. And yeah, I'm excited to see like who wins like top pre-roll <laughs> <laughs> on like a personal level. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. We're so excited to be here um, with so much that Lift & Co has done in the industry. What is the next benchmark? Oh. Well, that's huge, isn't it? Mm. Um, I don't know. Well, I, I adore all my work I do with Lift & Co. I, I feel like they're that perfect mix of relatable but taking cannabis seriously, you know, which is so important to me. So hopefully, like, more video content, more engaging content where people can really feel comfortable, like, asking questions, even maybe in live time and stuff like that. These are just, like, passion hobby like passion <laughs> interests of mine but i'm sure we could get there one day no, but they're they're good passion interests to actually hear and feel what the people have to say and then there is the vancouver business and uh cannabis expo in, on like january 9th 10th and 11th mm -hmm. so um i'm hoping to get there for that as well so okay so when lift and co travels to berlin are you going as well oh uh i don't know lift and co <laughs> <laughs> we might have to hint hint something let's, let's have a, a follow question a follow-up question yeah i like that i, I like do. that i do i think I think you should because I think you're a perfect uh, host for the event tonight. Um, oh, thank you so much. It, it means a lot. It's a definite compliment uh, to all the work that you've done. Oh, thank for the you. It means a lot. You've you've done a lot. You've been out there. Oh well, it means a lot. Like I'm just trying. Like I just I love weed and I it changed my life. It helps me on my day to day. And so I just want to take it seriously and give back to it and to the people who also love it. And um, so that means a lot. Thank you so much. I just and I love working with Lift and Co because they also take cannabis seriously and um, yeah, we get to, like if I told my 18 year old self that this is the type of work that I would be doing, like showing people how to use a bong and roll a joint and where right. they can access cannabis for themselves or for their loved ones, for their grandparents, it, like that to me is so beautiful and I never would have believed it, so I'm, I feel really blessed. We all have come a long way. Yes, oh, have we not? And oh, and you know, I don't want to not recognize that we still have a long way to go. Um, Agreed. And so I, and I'm, uh, and our industry doesn't exist in a bubble either, so I try to recognize that. Um, and so I just hope we can all, now that we can be legally free of at least that weight and that burden, it's only been a year, right? So like, just think about how much more we can, we can get with that. Yeah. And, and even if it's just a starting point for an argument, it's a better starting point than jail time right so i i think and and like canada's cool now like it, i mean we've always been known for cannabis but now it's like that extra mile you know what i mean like people can come here and they can feel comfortable finding cannabis smoking cannabis and and using cannabis so i think that's great yeah we are the front runners right 
Right. Have you been to Berlin? No, I have not. But once I've seen that you guys are going uh, and some of the other places that cannabis, medicinal cannabis, and hopefully recreational cannabis will touch, mm -hmm. um, we definitely want to travel and get everybody's perspective. It's so cool to think of all the different markets and the different cultures that could be like opened up because they're there already, right? Mm -hmm. But just to kind of get that airtime and get that mainstream attention, it's very exciting. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time, and I really appreciate you stopping and talking to us. Of course. No, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much. All right, guys, keep it locked for much, much more. For Lester, Sarah Hammond, see you soon. What's going on, everybody? We're here with Corey from Rainmaker. Corey? It was a pleasure. My good friend, what's happening? It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. So tell me, how's things been with Rainmaker? Wonderful. It's been an exciting ride, an exciting 2019. Excited to close out strong and hit the ground running again for 2020. Now. You have a finesse and a style <laughs> when it comes to these shows and how you take care of your clients. Yeah. What is that specialness? Just, you know what, just gotta keep it up and keep it going. That's all. You know what, be you, be unapologetically you. Do your thing and just go out there and just like shake those hands and smile. So, how do you think we're doing for Canada with cannabis in this first year of legalization? I think we're, we've just learned to crawl and we're starting to coast along the couches to walk. I think we're a ways away from being anywhere close to there, but I think we're getting there and things take time to roll up. Prohibition was 70 years ago, remember that? Definitely, definitely. So what would you think would be the next benchmark that should be set, especially now that edibles have come across on the table? It's a really, really hard question to ask. I think that uh, a benchmark can be tolerance, people understanding there's a much different experience in taking an edible than there is in smoking a joint and doing soft gels. Right. And they have to understand this. Uh, it's a low and slow approach. When you eat something, it takes a lot longer to ingest. You smoke a joint, you're immediately high. Right. And it should, it should be an education thing. It should be an education thing. I think that Canada are a bunch of smart people. We just have to really roll it out in a way that people can understand and can digest it. And I don't mean that in, pun in any pun in way. <laughs> So, for 2019, what's been the most outstanding thing that's happened with Rainmaker this year? What's been the most outstanding thing? We're working with a lot of fun projects and just seeing as projects have rolled out and being part of great stories and seeing the public perception and how people have reacted to different announcements. It's, been, it's, it's all been exciting. There hasn't, there's not one thing that stood out that's been really, really exciting to me. It's, just been, it's been a wild ride. The whole year has been a wild ride, learning how to surf. Well, I for one, for Cannabis Week, we definitely want to say to deal with Rainmaker, it's been fantastic. Thank you. Uh, the company is very professional. Thank you. The help has been over the top. Thank you. So what we'd like to know is, what are we going to look for in 2020 from Rainmaker? Listen, I'm going to pull off wackier shoes. I'm wearing moccasins right now to an award <laughs> ceremony. So I'm definitely going to pull off the shoes and the hat and fill in the blanks with the boldest blazers I could find. I love it. I love it. Yes. Guys, for the 2019 yeah, Lift & Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards, Corey from Rainmaker, Lester from Cannabis Wiki. Thank you, sir. My man. You can fly. Enjoy you your fly. evening. Enjoy Thank your you. evening. Guys, we'll see you soon. We're here with Darren, CEO from Spirit Leaf, sir. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Big honor for you tonight. Yeah, Entrepreneur of the Year, and uh, you know, I really represent a group of entrepreneurs. As our uh, all of our stores are locally owned and operated, so um, really, those are the entrepreneurs behind the movement, and uh, I'm just the lucky one to be the leader. So, well, when you make moves like incorporating the community, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, look, our brand's really important to us, and uh, we really believe full, you know, full circle. So every uh, every sale made us. Pure Leaf, a portion of that goes back to invest in our communities, and um, you know that, that's important. That is hugely important. So, what was one of the triumphant things for Spirit Leaf this year? Yeah, oh, there's been so many. Obviously, opening one of the first stores uh, in Ontario on April 1st was a huge deal. Um, we're now the largest retailer in Canada with 37 locations across the country. Um, so, yeah, there's been lots of those moments and then a lot of touching moments on how we're, you know, making an impact in customers and um, you know all those little things really add up. Definitely. So, what can we see from you guys for 2020? Uh, well, we're going to continue to open up stores in communities across the country and try and provide just the best retail experience. I mean, quantity is one thing, but uh, quality is another. Um, we really want to kind of spread, you know, some good messages and go back to the root of the plant. Peace, love, harmony, right? So if we can do that amongst, uh, you know, the corporate world of cannabis, then, then I think that's where we're going to find our true success. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Guys, you heard what's going on here. Spirit Leap, you got to check them out. Entrepreneur of the Year.
We're so stoked. I'm Thanks, glad you man. took the time to talk to us. Yeah, you guys keep up the good work. Love it. We're going to look forward to talking to you more when you come off the podium with that big trophy. Yeah, you're open now. All right, All right, we'll see you guys soon. I'm here with Trang from Trek. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. You look excellent tonight. Thank you. So, tell us the social impact Trek is making for the community. Sure. Uh, so, tonight we're launching our 10% for Good initiative. Okay. Uh, what that means is we've pledged as a business to donate 10% of our gross profits back to the communities. We let our consumers and our stakeholders choose. So we've been running social media campaigns and every time that we have uh, touch points with our consumers, we, we crowdsource and understand what uh, causes matter to them. Um, there's four top causes uh, that we'll be donating back to this year. Uh, cannabis amnesty, climate change, women empowerment, and local arts. Those are huge categories. They are. Wow. How are you going to handle this responsibility? You're going to have to have some big shoulders. I mean, it's, uh, at the end of the day, our consumers choose. Uh, we are just the custodian of that 10%. Great. And, and I think that uh, that is our impact that we're hoping to leave in a, such a brand new industry. I think it's a really great opportunity to use uh, this platform to do social good. That's trend-setting work, what you guys are doing. Thank you. That is Super exciting. I guess so. So how far are you looking to spread this message? Uh, well, we're in the communities we operate in. So right now, this year, so far, we've been in Ontario. We're hoping to spread this nationally. And as we expand into different markets like the U.S. or Europe, our 10% initiative will follow us. Excellent. So where are you located? Our head office is located in Toronto, so just minutes down the road here. Okay, so you must be totally excited to be here today. Yeah, super excited. Um, I've uh, this is such a wonderful evening to get together with an industry where you normally find us in scrubs and hoodies. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to get dressed up and to get all prettied up. I love it. I love it, and I love the message that the company is doing for the community because it seems with all the green rush people are forgetting about the important things. Exactly, and I think, I truly do think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of scrutiny on this industry and we do have to take care of our communities. Without them, it's not it's not sustainable, right? And we truly have to think about all the people that we're impacting, be responsible about it, and help educate as well. Definitely. Well, I think with you guys moving the pace as you are and the impact that it's gonna have, I think it's gonna be long lasting in the community, in the cannabis industry. Thank you. Well, we're asking the whole industry to join us in this movement tonight so uh, fingers crossed that others care about uh, doing good just as much as we do I think they will Trang I okay. think they will guys from the Canadian Cannabis Awards Trang and track look out for these guys they're doing very big things for the community and we'll see you soon thank you thank you what's going on everybody we are here with the social influencer of 2019 Jackie Childs Hey. How are you? Great, good. Now. <laughs> Listen, you're always good. So, being the public figure that you are, how does it feel to be here today? Great, good. I'm excited. It's my peeps. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, with all the work that you do inside the cannabis business, what is the biggest highlight for you? Um, Something that's most special to me or means the most is when I get to do the smaller events, the more when I get to engage one-on-one -on -one with um, indigenous communities, single parents, mothers, lot of people dealing with um, a lot of the stigma and stereotypes, the negative stigma and stereotypes. That's my favorite part of the industry. I get to have one-on-one -on -one time and the connections with them and share stories about my journey with cannabis and theirs. And we can relate and share and grow. Which is good, which is a good thing. It means a lot for me as far as my my anxiety, depression, this, my journey with cannabis. It's really good for me to give back and to get to do the sort of charity side of it. And it makes me feel good and keeps me doing what I'm doing. Right, which is excellent. You're doing a fantastic job. So with all the weight of everybody always looking for Jackie Childs, how is that? Sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Extra sweaty tonight. <laughs> There's a lot going on. A lot of lights and a lot of it's exciting. I mean, Lift Awards is really cool. I was a no, I was nominated last year. This year, I'm here to cheer on everybody else and see Sarah Hanlon. Love her. It's exciting. 
Yeah. And uh, I'm here with my Wiki family. Ah, <laughs> definitely, That's what I'm most definitely, excited about. Definitely. Well, you know, we're always happy to be with you. We're fantastic to see you here. It's a beautiful place, beautiful event. Uh, I expect to be standing next to you doing this. Um, so tell me. Yes, next year. What is the highlight for you for today? My highlight for today mm. was making it here on time. <laughs> oh, barely on time. Um, this is actually our, because we have the Green Room Podcast. Yes. This is our first sort of public appearance together. Together, yes. So I'm really, really excited for that. And um, truth be told, it's probably why I'm here. <laughs> I, I'm really excited to watch the Green Room grow and everyone here to get to know what the Green Room is. Definitely. And it is going to be a place where people can come sit at your table. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Really excited. And I like these, I mean, part of ending the stigma and the stereotypes, these sort of award shows where people dress up and we all look at how great and get to talk about what we do in our everyday lives and bring some normal, normalcy to cannabis. Right. So what can we look for from Jackie Child other than the green room for 2020? Um, I don't know. About the coffee table book that's coming out. Yeah. That was an honor. Charitable initiatives and some different things within the cannabis space, women and weed mostly. That's where you'll see me. Smaller venues and events, women and weed, as much as I can do the one on one. And then the green room. I'm really focused on getting this green room to be the green mall, <laughs> not just a room. <laughs> right, to where we so, can have a space like this to have a space for all, all of us. This is very nice and fancy and it's an exciting event and the evening for us all. But I'm really excited to what we're going to create sitting down at our table in the green room. I agree. Guys, you got to tune into that, the green room. You'll find Jackie Childs, myself, and fighting everybody from CEOs right down to the simple mini girl person. So, guys, Advocates, activists. you heard it from my friend, my co host, Jackie Childs, from the 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. I am here with the CEO of Lift and Co. Mate, sir. Lester, my man. It's been a pleasure. I've been Thanks. dying to sit down and meet you, sir. Well, one day we'll actually sit. I hope. <laughs> I hope. So, Lift & Co., you've had four big expos. The impact that you're having on the cannabis industry. Phenomenal. What can we expect for 2020? Ooh, that's a big question. I think as Lift & Co. grows, we want to bring cannabis to the masses ourselves as a trusted industry partner, a trusted consumer advisor, and our focus is really to bring more people into cannabis because it's a wonderful industry, it's a wonderful product, and we want to communicate to them in what they want to know about cannabis. So how are you finding it through the first year? How did you find the acceptance? We attended a Lift & Co event in the summertime. It was benchmark set for the industry. Thank you for that. Fantastic. Thank Fantastic. You. Fantastic. So, Tell, tell us, what is it that makes it get through to the people? I think you got to show you care. I mean, if you look around at this event, we really put our effort, put our heart and soul to make this a very, very great night. And same with the events that we do. I mean, we curate every exhibitor, every speaker, every talk. But when I think of Lift & Co., our events are part of what we do, but we're an information company. We provide information at the expos. We also provide information to bud tenders when we train them with cancel. We provide information to consumers through our reviews online, which is growing into the largest platform in Canada. And when I say about what's next for us, it's really getting that platform, the reviews, in front of many more people. We want to be in people's pockets when they're trying to buy cannabis. How can we do that? How can we be a trusted advisor when you purchase it? That's what we're really focused on. I love the touch that you're really concerned about the consumer. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the consumer doesn't know what cannabis is about. And what happens with legalization, in my view, is everybody tries to get in. They want to start a business. They want to be an edible brand. They want to be a consultant. And the consumer doesn't know who to trust. So when we think about growing our business, we always maintain trust in what we do. I mean, it's why we work with Mad Canada. It's why we work with the government. It's because we can be trusted. And we want to convey that to consumers, that you can trust us. And we're here to cut through the noise, to be a partner for you. That's beautiful. So how has it been working with Mad Canada? It's been a very fulfilling <laughs> and interesting process. I mean, we called Matt and we said, look, 
you are a powerhouse when it comes to mitigating alcohol consumption and people listen to you. Our view was, you probably don't know as much about cannabis as we do. Let us educate. And it was an education plan, right? We had to dispel some common thinking and we really taught them how to approach cannabis and together we built the only approved trading program in Ontario. And it's been a matter of educating them and they educated us a lot about how to work with government, how to be socially responsible. It's been a win-win relationship. I don't know, you look like a very young man. <laughs> and with the monumental things that you're doing for such a new industry, how do you do it? How can you combine the old, the average, and the young and make everybody understand the benefits of cannabis? I think cannabis affords me the opportunity. It's, it's a brand new industry, so there's no expectations on you should be doing this or this is what a business looks like. And what we notice in our team and a lot of the people here in this room is they're just very passionate, excited individuals that may have come from big alcohol, big CPG, or they may have just graduated school and they were entrepreneurial and they wanted to make a difference. And when I look at myself, at least I'm, I'm in the first category. I just got really excited and I really cared and worked really hard. <laughs> and I think, you know, we've motivated our team to do the same. It's, cannabis is brand new. It's going to be new for the next 10 years. If you want to make a difference, you'll find a way to make a difference. So tell me, when it, what's it going to be like when you guys stretch out to Berlin? We actually are no longer doing Berlin. Oh. No, we uh, are focusing on the U.S. Oh, wow. That's right. So you might see us in the U.S. sooner than you see us in Berlin. That would be monumental again because of what you're laying down here in Canada, trendsetting. As far as we're concerned, we're seeing the things that you're doing. Uh, the Lipton Co. has really set the bar for what's going on with Expos and the other branches of farms that Lipton Co. has. I really appreciate you saying that. I mean, we started as a blog in 2014, and uh, that's all it was. And we worked really hard, and we really cared, and we got to where we are today. And I'm grateful for you saying that, but we have a long way to go still, I think. No, well, I, I see you making it there. I'm happy to follow the path that you're setting forward for everybody. The way you're doing it um, is super commendable. I, I really like, I really, really, really like what's going on and the love that's inside of this event. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate it. So, what can we expect for 2020 for the event? The U.S., I gave that one away. Yes. Uh, we will be launching a mobile app soon. We want to be in your pocket. Think of uh, the camera being the first thing that you see when you open this app. You're going to point it at a label, at a product, and instantaneously our reviews will pull up. You'll be able to compare products. So in the point of purchase at the store, we might even be able to give you an answer quicker than your butt tender. Your butt tender might be using our app because there's so much stuff out there. Help the people with information. Super innovative. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mateo. Great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Yeah, Thank you very for much for taking the time. Guys, from the Lift & Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards, stay tuned for much more. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Mimi. What is happening, lady? This is insane. Look at all these beautiful people here. <laughs> well, you fit right in. Thank you. I'll see you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. So tell me what's new, what's good? Everything's good. You know, Super Ed has a bit, had a very, very busy year. This time last year, it was myself and my co-founder bouncing around ideas in my apartment. And here we are 12 months later. We have a team. We have a retail concept. We have a brand. Uh, a brand that people know in California. It's crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. But with the performance that your store is doing, the results, I read the reviews. They're fantastic. How do you keep your staff so happy? I mean, it's really what we're bringing to the table, which is something that is authentic, which is fun. It resonates with our team member, it resonates with the customer, so it's great. And what we are really defining is the cannabis retail experience. Every single day, we are writing history, and that's really, really fun. That is good. So how does it feel to be such a trendsetter? Cool. I don't like to pick myself as that, but, you know, we just like taking risks. You know, as a small private company, we're able to just implement ideas and be really, really flexible. And so in the industry where the regulations change, um, the framework changes, we just also want to have a little bit of, um, you know, risk to that and have it, make it a little more sexy. <laughs> you know? 
Well, that would be good. That would be good for everybody. So what was one of the highlights for Super 8 this year, 2019? Well, so many. I mean, highlight, getting a store up and running, um, showing the world what our concept is, building an incredible team. That's what I'm most proud of, is our team. Um, and then just being able to have the foundation to grow beyond. So retail stores across Canada is coming up, products under the Super 8 brand and some other brands coming up. What is in store for 2020? 2020, a lot going on. Um, Ontario is changing things up, so we're here to play. You know, across Canada, we keep looking at what we uh, what we might do. And then again, product, we want to be able to touch customers outside the physical space, so you'll see Super product coming. I am excited, I'm looking forward to it. Mimi, thank you very much for taking the time to talk yeah. to us. We'll see you soon, enjoy yourself tonight. Me too. Guys, for Lester and Mimi, we'll see you soon. Keep it locked. I'm here with Sony. Sony. Go play. My gosh. There you go. <laughs> so how we don't make it easy for you guys. No, <laughs> no not, at, not at all. Not at all. So how are you finding the event? Oh, so far so good. I mean, Supreme and Seven Acres. We've been attending all the Lyft events for the last couple of years, and we're always excited to be here. We're always honored to be nominated uh, in the various categories. Supreme is doing big things. We are. We are indeed. So. What has been one of the highlights for Supreme in 2019? Um, I think for us, it's, it's definitely been um, our focus on, on bringing Seven Acres, our facility up in King Garden, to full scale. Uh, we've completed construction and our licensing, and we've been scaling our product, and we've been able to deliver a consistent, high-quality premium product to the marketplace, which is actually quite in demand. So I think that's probably one of our core accomplishments for this year. In addition to that, we've been focusing on, you know, focusing on the quality premium category of other cannabis form factors. And so you'll be seeing, uh, you know, certain cannabis oils hitting the market soon. We're participating in cannabis 2.0 products uh, in the next couple of months, uh, as well as some real products. It's non-stop for spring. It's non-stop. It's non-stop. What we did, like we attended the Grow Up and we seen with Seven Acres Sessions Garden, we thought that was fantastic. The fact that you guys brought etiquette to the cannabis industry, the experts. Yeah, we were always looking for innovative ideas to you know get our key messages out there in the industry. And so it's a new industry, it's an evolving industry, it's a global industry, and so you know the, the different creative formats to be able to communicate our key messages is you know how uh, we we strategically make decisions within the company. Excellent. I love the company. So now with women in weed, go further on that. Explain how that's been, how that journey has taken place. Yeah, well, I mean, first and foremost, there should always be more women in weed. Um, I've been with the company now um, since uh, early 2018. And I think it's probably one of the one of the first entrants into this industry because that was a time when most of the uh, licensed producers were building on on the corporate side of their business. Um, but since then, I mean, you know, we're very proud to to state that our seven acres workforce is probably about 50% female. Um, and as we continue to grow at the corporate level, you know, with, with multiple assets, we really are trying to focus on bringing in our talented workforce, which I think, from my perspective, are primarily females. Which is an excellent thing to see. I love the fact that women are really taking the opportunity to do something bigger and better and a different perspective than what men would do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we have, um, I mean, in any industry, I think women are, are, are thought leaders, they're organizers. Um, you know, we just have to make sure that as an industry, we present opportunities that are compelling, compelling to females that are looking to make a move and that are looking to contribute to an industry that I think, you know, from my perspective, does require a certain level of skill set, a certain level of energy, and, you know, a certain level of passion and dedication. And women have that. It's, all women have that. Definitely. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that yeah. whatsoever, <laughs> whatsoever, whatsoever. So, what is going to be new for 2020 for Spring? So, there'll be a couple of items. I think we're, we're going to be fully participating in the Cannabis 2.0 products. As you know, we have a... Uh, a strategic partnership with PAX um, for our vape products and we're going to be launching uh, CBD wellness focused oil products through our new acquired Blisco brand 
And we're going to continue on with scaling our high quality premium product, um, you know, cultivated at seven acres. I think we've done very well on that and we're just really excited to get more product into the hands of consumers that deserve that high quality premium cannabis product. And then on the international front, you know, we've been focusing on really understanding uh, the regulatory regime and what the markets are looking for in order to be able to take the Canadian model and, and expand that into other jurisdictions that are that are now looking at whether well, it's medical cannabis or just other cannabis opportunities. And so do expect to see a lot from from Supreme on the international front. Excellent. So is the Canadian market the example as we move globally? I mean, it's, it's the first, you know, G7 country with a, with a federally legal cannabis program. And so that in and of itself does make us, you know, leaders, trailblazers, um, you know, first to market. And so, and it's a pretty strict regulatory regime. Like, that's kind of my, my area. I'm the general counsel, and I also manage the regulatory affairs at Supreme. So, you know, I think Canada is at, at the center stage because, you know, cannabis, yes, it's been around for many years. But the regulated environment um, that's been developed in the Canadian marketplace is something that I think most countries are looking out right now currently in evaluating their own programs so excellent well said well said thank you very much yeah, for no taking problem. the time thank with you. us yes thank you for chatting talking. i hope you get to enjoy the yes, events yes likewise thank you so much oh so much you're so so welcome hey everybody i'm here with Hi. rebecca we are standing at the canadian cannabis awards rebecca women in weed yeah talk to me it's amazing it's incredible to see how much talent there is out there in an industry that's actually recognizing it for an award to be here, for all these women to come together and support each other, it, it's unreal. I think what women are doing on a whole is beyond unreal. And the stamina, the strength, it's, I don't know what to say. I know, it's, it's be, you're able to find mentors, be a mentor, and everybody's just coming together and helping each other out for the better of our, our consumers, really, right? Bring the best quality cannabis we can to our consumers. But just beyond cannabis, you're bringing strength and awareness, uh, support and help to women. Absolutely, and we're, we're gonna work towards filling the gap of the pay between men and women and all those differences that have been put into business. We can actually make a difference as an industry. That is unreal. So what has been your most exciting thing in 2019? Paul, oh, there's so many things to think about, to be honest. This, this I think, might take the cake right now, to be here with everybody, to be able to meet everybody, to see what they've been doing, and to listen to what's coming up in the next year. Well, you're a trailblazer. I am. So what's going to be up and coming for 2020? There's so much. There's so much underway right now, and the best part is our consumers are going to blaze the trail for us on exactly what we're going to be bringing to them. So you're going to be telling us what you, what you want to see, and we're going to bring it to you with the best quality we possibly can. We're going to put our passion into it. We're going to light it on fire. Oh, shit, you heard that? <laughs> you guys heard that? Listen. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, you as well. You look fantastic. Thank you. And we're going to be looking for more from Women in Weed Beautiful. in 2020. Absolutely, you can expect it. So let's say goodbye. We're back, we're here with Elevate. I'm standing with Josh, CEO. My man. How you doing, Lester? Two nominations. Yes, sir. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, yeah, so uh, two nominations, uh, first year after legalization. 2019 Cannabis Entrepreneur of the Year and uh, our uh, first location uh, top cannabis retail store uh, of the year here in Canada so uh, very humbling um, big win for us already just to be considered in the same conversation as uh, a lot of the Goliaths of the Canadian cannabis industry is uh, it's very surreal uh, humbling but uh, it's a, a big credit to uh, the community that we serve uh, for allowing us to provide the services that we do and uh, my management team my sales team without them there's no elevate you're a gentleman you know what, it's, uh, it, there's a saying that goes, it takes a village to raise a kid. A kid. And uh, my kid is Elevate, and uh, it's taken a village to, to get us to this point. So it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a ride this last year. It's been awesome. I love it, I love it. But you gotta consider yourself one of the giants with the work that you've done this year. You know, um, it's again, just an honor to be considered in the same, same breath as um, you know, a lot of these 
trailblazers of the industry. Um, there, there's some big names out there, and um, you know, a first-time entrepreneur for myself, you know, it's been a learning curve. It hasn't been easy. Uh, I've learned a lot. We're learning every day, and uh, you know, just just because we were nominated for these awards doesn't mean we stopped there. We're uh, we're going to continue to elevate the standard, raise the bar, and uh, upwards and onward. So I got to ask, what has been the most exciting moment for you, 2019? Probably just getting our doors open. Um, you know, it, there was uh, back in Alberta, there was a, a province-wide moratorium on any new licenses that were being issued. So um, uh, we were store number seven in Edmonton, number 42 in the province of Alberta, and then the moratorium hit. And uh, you know, I can empathize with a lot of our um, uh, industry members that uh, were, were on the other side of that moratorium, um, unable to uh, uh, open their doors and, and provide services and, and quality cannabis to, to the community. So. You know, there's uh, like any industry, there's ups and downs, but uh, you just gotta take the good with the bad. You seem you seem so cool that even the bad won't affect you. You know, you just take it all in stride and, and you just do what you can. It's uh, it's never gonna be easy. Otherwise, you know, everybody would be doing it. So um, it's you gotta take the good with the bad. Well, I love the work ethic of uh, Elevate. So what are we gonna see in 2020? You know, we're going to start off with uh, phase two of uh, legalization. So uh, we're very excited to be uh, uh, be able to distribute a lot of the uh, concentrates, edibles, beverages, all of that that's coming out. And uh, so uh, myself and my team, we're, uh, we're working diligently to, to educate ourselves on that so that we can share that knowledge with our, uh, our community. And, um, it's uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting to see what uh, a lot of these licensed producers are coming out with. I know they've been very hush hush about it so far. So <laughs> you know we're kind of left out in the dark. But uh, you know we're just doing what we can to prepare for that and uh, and make sure that uh, you know we're uh, we're we're providing the right information and that everybody walks home happy. I think that's not going to be a problem, Josh. Um, definitely for being nominated, we can see that your hard work has paid off. Thank you. Uh, we wish you much, much success for 2020. Thank you. And I hope to see you in the winter circle at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, I hope to see you at our shops, man. Anytime definitely. you're in Edmonton. Definitely. Doors are always open during business hours. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. All right. So, guys, keep it locked. Canada's Cannabis Awards 2019. Josh, myself, Elevate. Find myself standing to this tall, lovely lady. Tell us a little bit about what's going on, why you're here at the 2019 Lifting Co. Awards. So today is my one year anniversary of working in the cannabis industry. And I came from the design world and we're bringing design to the cannabis industry. And what I mean by that is we're looking at cannabis from a premium perspective, from the perspective of how does cannabis integrate into everyday life. So you like music, you like culture, you like travel, you like architecture. Cannabis should be part of that conversation. Cannabis should adapt to your lifestyle as opposed to the reverse. Right. And so that's what we're all about. We're about creating a cultural space where people can have cannabis infused food made by some of the best chefs in the world, fantastic cocktails by world famous mixologists, great music and so forth, and it's all within a cannabis environment. So how are you finding the acceptance in this first year? Um, you know what, I've been saying to everybody, this is the craziest industry I've ever been in. I mean, it, it moves only so fast as it moves slow. I mean, it's insane. Um, and as I say, the only thing you can ever be sure of is change, and that's certainly true of the cannabis industry. Right. Um, but the response has been really positive, and I think that as the, as the market evolves, we're going to see more and more market segmentation and more and more market differentiation. And so we're going to see cannabis become all things to all people because it is a commodity, it is a product that can lend itself to different types of lifestyles and, and, and ways of living. Right. So as we move further into the cannabis industry, I find that everything will be refined where now anything that's produced is accepted. And as we move further into, it's going to find get a little fine pinpointed. How do you feel about that? I think it's the natural, I think it's the natural evolution of, of an industry. And it has to go that way. It's almost the Darwinian survival of the fittest. The market will dictate what products and, and what brands will succeed and which ones won't. I mean, again, it is all about how to appeal to, uh, we always say a psychographic, not a demographic, because to us it's not about age, it's not about income, it's really about how you live, what your attitude is. And I think the more you appeal to those different psychographics, 
the more successful you'll be. This is a different perspective you're coming at. <laughs> right? It, it totally is. So what has been something that has been um, one of the hurdles that you've had to face in 2019? Well, certainly legalization. It's, 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 I mean, I think the province is doing a great job from the perspective of starting it and going for it. It was a little bit of a clunky start. From what I understand, things will smooth, will, will become smoother now. Um, but that certainly has been a challenge. I mean, we, we will not open a consumption lounge until it's legal. So we are hoping for legalization of on-site consumption within the next year. And, you know, I would argue that uh, on-site consumption is almost what bars were after prohibition. It's about having a safe space for people to consume, away from kids, away from families off the street. So I think the time is right for that. And to what we were saying earlier, it's this natural evolution of where the market has to go and where it will go. So what can we expect from you guys for 2020? We'll be up on that stage accepting every damn award. <laughs> preach, Shannon, yes. preach. So tell everybody about the company, the company name, and where you guys can be found. My ministry is uh, the House of Culture, and we are opening our flagship location at Adelaide and Strawn in 2020. And in early January, we're opening up this really cool little speakeasy matcha bar in the college and Bathurst area. Oh, snap. Yeah. We're here at the 2019 Lift & Co. Cannabis Awards, and I wish you a very good evening. Thank you, Lester. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you, too. You guys, look out for them. Doing big things. We'll see you soon. What's going on, everybody? As you can see, I'm going to give him an introduction, even though he doesn't need an introduction. Weedstagram416. Hello, hello. My friend? Good to meet in person. <laughs> pleasure. A definite pleasure. So tell the people, what do we got going on here, man? Well, I rolled an art joint for the Lyft 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards. I rolled a hand. I was like, what's more meta than a hand smoking a joint? <laughs> So we're going to burn this thing down uh, outside, right. of course, and uh, it's three ounces of foobar pineapple. Crazy. Absolutely. So how long did it take you to make this? This is a 20-hour roll. Damn. Yeah, it took 20 hours, but it's worth it to share it with the family, you know? Show cannabis people what real cannabis culture is all about. Ah, now that's what we're talking about. That's why we need to have you here, brother. we got to bring the culture to the event. To get this perspective. So... This was all you? All your touch? Of course. I even rolled. I even rolled. I even made the bracelet. <laughs> you know, I, I, I even made the bong. The Instagram bong. I love it, guys. So tell me, what can we expect from Instagram in 2020? You know, we're going to expect a lot of brand relationships. I think that that's the key word in brand building for 2020. You know, right now, uh, the LPs have not successfully created brand relationships with the consumers. They're just bottles on a shelf at this point, and I think they really need to embrace the canister uh, to create that brand relationship. And when they do, we're going to be there ready to help them. So you're almost like the medium for that to happen because you're kind of right in between the industry and the community. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's very few people that can sit in the world of business and community. And there's a few of us out there that people respect and, you know, the LP should be paying attention. Definitely. So what's been one of your highlights for 2019? Seeing Amy Anonymous become one of the head uh, educators over at Seven Acres. I think that's fabulous. Bringing in the legacy market into the real industry and showing the people how to make it done right. Let's grow cannabis properly. I hear you. And Seven Acres Supreme, they're doing fantastic. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. I talk to consumers and ask them, what's their favorite cannabis? They tell me Whistler Medical and Seven Acres. No joke. No joke. I've, I've been hearing a lot about that myself. So for 2020, what can we expect from you, my man? We can expect to see posts about the Canadian Cannabis Awards. Let's get in there, bro. <laughs> All right. So with no more further ado, from Lester from Cannabis Wiki, Weedstagram, my man, cannabis 416. Wiki. Good to meet you, bro. We'll see you soon. Guys, keep Cheers. it locked. Lester here for the Lifting Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards. This is Cannabis Wiki's Winners and Icons section, where the winners will be coming off stage right here with me, and we'll hear what they got to say about their win. Stay tuned for much more.
What's going on, everybody? We are here at the Canadian Cannabis Awards Winners and Icons Edition. We are here with Medifarm. What's going on, fellas? Hey, yeah, how's it going, man? Congratulations on the win, so Entrepreneurs of the Year. Yes. Great. So, tell us, tell us, how does it feel? It feels awesome. We've been we've been hard at work for many years in the company, so to be recognized by our peers in the, in the industry is super special. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Well, you guys make it look good. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mixing it up tonight a little bit. You're like the Joker tonight, though. That's what I look <laughs> No, my friend, you look dapper. You look well in dapper. So what can everybody expect from Medifarms for 2020? Lots, lots to come 2020. Medifarm Labs, uh, you know, we're a leader in extraction in Canada, but we're not uh, resting on that. We've, we've gone global. We have a facility in Australia. It's going to be opening soon. Uh, we're looking all around the globe and opportunities in Europe, South America. So look out world, Medifarm Labs is coming. Yes, Medifarm Labs in one word is export. That? You guys hear that? Winners, entrepreneurs of the year. Guys, congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you so for nice taking the time. Thank you so much. See you soon. Cheers, guys. Yeah. We are here in our segment of winners and icons with Mimi and Super 8. Two awards, one time. It's a, it's a dream. It's a dream right now. We just did Startup of the Year. Shout out to Super 8 and the entire team um, out there. And I just got Women in Weed. That is incredible, lady. <laughs> you must be stoked. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's been wild, and uh, I mean, we're not here for recognition, but this is an incredible moment for us. Recognition is deserved for all the hard work. Appreciate it. And we are so happy that you spent the time with us, sharing your award, your wins, your victories, your conquers. Thank you. And Thank we you. wish you much success in 2020. Oh, 2020 is going to be a big year. <laughs> so guys, take it easy, keep it locked. See you soon. See ya. Guys, we're here at the Canadian Cannabis Awards with more winners for winners and icons. Ooh. So guys, how does it feel? Amazing, great. We're really proud. Nothing? <laughs> I'm asking how does it feel? How does it feel to be the winner? We're really excited. The cultivation team works so hard um, to produce the best product. We've gotten amazing feedback from the consumer market and it's great to, to be rewarded. The acknowledgement is yeah. commendable for the work that's been done, right? So for winners and icons in the 2019 Lifting Co. Cannabis Canadian Awards, I congratulate you guys and enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? We are here at the 2019 Lifting Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards with Afria, winners for CBD of the year. What's happening, guys? Amazing product, amazing people, and uh, we're just really focused, laser focused on meeting the needs of our consumers. I could see that. So how does it feel? Fantastic. Good. Amazing. Good. 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 <laughs> so what can we expect from you guys for 2020? Lots of exciting things. New products, new brands, new initiatives, new partnerships. So we're really excited for the year that's coming up. You guys hear that? Free you. Keep it locked. <laughs> Winners and icons. What's going on, guys? We're here again. Winners and icons. And I am standing here with Bud Tender of the Year. What's happening, lady? I mean, I'm still in shock. I, uh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time processing this. This is uh, amazing. It's such an honor. It's actually, like, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> um, I'm speechless, honestly. It's a test of all the hard work and dedication you put into the job. Absolutely. I'm so proud of all of our Superette team, and this is for like every single bud tender that I work alongside with. I'm so excited to be representing our store, and it's just, it's amazing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we will hold you up. Enjoy your trophy. Enjoy your award. Thank you. And we'll see more of you in 2020. Absolutely. All right, guys. Here again, guys, at the Canadian Cannabis Awards, I am here with Master Grower of the Year. What's happening, Kevin? Yo, thank you, man. So, tell us, how's it feel? Real good. Feels good, man. I've been growing weed for a long time. Never thought I'd be standing in front of a room full of people accepting awards, so it feels <laughs> really good. Yeah, it feels great. Well, you gotta, you have to be happy with the For work. sure, man. I mean, it's not just me. I mean, it's the whole team at Broken Coast, so thanks to them. Um, you know, I couldn't do it without them. We just put the love in. That's really what it's all about, man. Just no kind corners, just putting the love in and growing the best way we can, so, yeah. Well, that's what makes a good product, is someone for sure. that puts care in. That's right, you know, really caring for it, yeah, absolutely. Well, what can we expect from you for 2020? We got a few nice things coming out. We got a couple of different strains. Uh, we got uh, one pie in the sky that's really gonna, it's a nice daytime sativa that's gonna, okay. that's got really good flavor. You know, it's not the strongest thing in the world, but the flavor's there and uh, 
another one called Stargazer, which is really good, kind of dark indica that I think people are going to really dig. So yeah. Good. Good, good. So right on. many more things coming from Grower of Lots the Year. Lots more coming. That's right. <laughs> so Kevin, enjoy your evening. Sweet. Congratulations right, once again. Thank you. Guys, for Winners and Icons, Grower of the Year. Here again in the Winners and Icons circle for the Lipton Co. 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards. My dear. Hi. What's Hi, happening? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Employer of the Year. Yes, Trek Brands. So proud of the team. So? How's it feel? Um, it's such an honor and a privilege to be up against, uh, well, I mean, up with all the other amazing companies out there. Um, and it's just, uh, this this one took me definitely by surprise, <laughs> but the, the team definitely deserves this. We're a small and mighty team of 15. Uh, and yeah, it's a, I, I'm still shocked, but it, it's super exciting as we trailblaze this industry together. I love it. I love the work that you're doing. Thank you. Keep it up and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. So for winners and icons at the 2019 Lift & Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards, we'll see you soon. Icons and winners. <laughs> Guys, two. 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 What do you got to say? We'll be back. <laughs> there's Absolutely. more. We oh. hope there's more to come. So how do you feel about this one? We feel amazing. This is a really important category. It's a really important uh, statement that we want to make to the market, that we are here to play and we're here to play big. And this is just the first teaser to what's to come. Ooh wee. <laughs> you hear that? Only winners can talk like that, guys. <laughs> winners and icons. 2019 Lipton Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards. Guys, thanks for stopping in. Thank you. We'll see yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. So what's happened? Super Red winners. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Best retail store. Woo! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I like Have you it. Been? No, I haven't. I haven't had the pleasure to come down and see you guys, but we are coming to Ottawa, I believe, on the 22nd and 23rd. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. so I expect a great greeting when I get there. <laughs> All right, guys, for the Lift & Co. 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards, we are here with the best winning solo store, Super Red. <laughs> What's going on? We're back at the Lift & Co. Canadian Cannabis Awards with best THC oil. Guys. How does it feel? Feels good, feels Ooh, good yeah, to feels be good. celebrated, yeah. Because you're right now in the winners and icons circle. So it's a big thing. So what can we expect from you guys for 2020? Well, I think we've got a lot of exciting plans lined up for 2020. And I think that, um, you know, especially like this is uh, a celebration of one of our THC oil products. And I think as we kind of like move in and we get into things like vape pens and we get into concentrate products and chocolate based edibles, um, that oil is going to take on a whole new life. And we're looking forward to bringing it to a whole new group of consumers next year. Guys, you heard that? Keep your eyes open and ready. And we'll see you soon for the 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards. Guys, enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thanks, man. Tweed, what's happening? Winners! How's uh, it feel? You know, feels feels good. You know, we're always proud of the product that uh, that we make and uh, the people who make it. Uh, we're lucky enough to, to grow cannabis across the country uh, from coast to coast, and uh, we're just super proud to be welcomed into the communities that, uh, that let us make our product there and uh, hopefully have some fun along the way. I think they definitely are. They're having a little bit of fun, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So what can we expect from Tweed in 2020? We've got an amazing portfolio of products and brands that we're like a little bit, mm, but a little bit coming soon. Ah. We, can't, we can't wait to unveil and just like blow away the Canadians again this year. It's going to be amazing. I love it. Guys, you hear that? Tweed's got a good surprise for you. So they are the big winners with their gels. So guys, for the 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards, we'll see you soon. <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't think there's enough trophies to go around with you guys. <laughs> Well, we're gonna move between us and Broken Coast, we clean up. I think so. so. Right behind us. I think so. I think so. Guys, I, I am super excited for you. I am very happy to see all of you here. Not just once, not just twice. Maybe the third time will be the charm. This is? This, this is, is the third time. time. Yeah. You see what's going on here? Yeah. Holy cow. Guys. Keep an eye on this crew. They're really doing things in a big way. Thanks, Vault 2. Way to go, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.
Guys here again once in the winter circle, Broken Coast. Tell us, what did you win this time? Best hybrid flower. It seems like uh, your golden fingers. Seems like we grow some good weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we've been trying to do, so that's great. It's awesome. Definitely. So, how does it feel to be a winner? It's awesome. It's a, it's a really big honor to get yeah. the, this, this award. and. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Good recognition, right? For yeah. all the hard work? Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Guys, Broken Coast, they're doing their things big. Winners and icons. This year's 2019 Lift & Co. Cannabis Canadian Awards. Guys, take it easy. Yeah. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, great. Thank you, man. Guys, we're inside Winners and Icons at the 2019 Canadian Cannabis Awards. So guys, another reward. Another proud moment. Does anybody want to see anything? Come on. So we grow this amazing cultivar very close to here up in Bradford, Ontario, and I want to shout out to all the awesome team that's up there growing this beautiful product for us. You guys hear that? Thank you. You guys hear that? Feel the love. <laughs> you guys go and enjoy yourself. Thank Congratulations you. on your Thank big you win. Thank we'll talk you. soon. Thank you. you. Guys, we're here, winners and icons. Seven acres. What are you gonna say? Um, it's amazing to be providing quality cannabis from coast to coast across our great country. It's nothing better than that, and having an outstanding brand that just steps above everyone and you know sets a tone for this great industry is absolutely amazing. It all comes down to the great leadership, the teams that all come together, and having those amazing people working for our brand to separate it from the rest. If you look to our great people here, you know, there's so many great minds working behind the scenes to make this absolutely incredible, and we're so looking forward to the future. Do you hear that? This is why they won. All the camaraderie. Seven Acres, I love it. You guys, I wish you the best success in 2020. Thanks for coming out. Enjoy your time. Thank you. See you guys.